everyone, my name is Oishiki. At first I would like to say that please kindly subscribe my channel. So today I am going to read part 5 of the novel and then there were none. Written by a very famous writer that is Agatha Christie. And yes, I would also like to inform that the ones who want to watch and then there were none. Part 4. They can get the video link from the description box. So now let's begin with our story. Suddenly, in spite of the heat in the carriage, she shivered and wished she wasn't going to the sea. A picture rose clearly before her mind. Cyril's head bobbing up and down Swimming to the rock. Up and down, up and down. And herself swimming in easy practice strokes. After him, clivering her way through the water. But knowingly, only too surely that she wouldn't be in time. The sea, it's deep warm blue. Morning spent lying out on sands. Hugo, Hugo, he had said her she must not think of Hugo. She opened her eyes and forwarded across at the man opposite her. A tall man with brown face, light ease and sat rather close together. And an arrogant, almost cruel mouth. She thought to herself, I bet he's been some interesting parts of the world and seen some interesting things. So our story ends here. In my next video, I am going to read part 6 of And Then There When None. If you liked my today's video, then please like and comment my video and also subscribe my channel to listen to more such stories and to follow all my videos regularly. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.